Hi everyone, thanks very much for clicking into my video. Um, I'm hoping to do a little series for Inktober this year, um, a little video series. The idea ideally would be um, to update a short video every day of the prompt of that day. I don't know how feasible it's going to be, but I just wanted to maybe give it a go, see how it went and, um, you know, it gives me an excuse to draw something most days at least. I've done it once before, two years ago, um, and I actually made it a little bit more difficult for myself, I feel, because I combined two prompt lists. I had the official Inktober prompt list and then another one that I had found where it was like anthropomorphic animals. But it was fun, I really liked it. I didn't do it last year because just it didn't work out. But this year I'm really keen to try it again. In terms of my materials, I don't really have that many. Um, I just kind of have like my Micron pens, I have a Pentel brush pen, and then I have this Unipin brush marker pen as well. I also have a couple of these inks in case I feel like actually painting. So for sketching, I'm obviously just gonna use like a pen and a pencil and a rubber, as usual. But anyway, the first prompt word is ring. And I've actually been thinking about this for a few days. I've decided that I don't wanna do something as simple as like a literal ring. Like for me, when I think of ring, um, like obviously the element of a circle is involved, that's obvious, but I also think of things like, um, you know, when people hold hands in ring, like in a circle, and they kind of, you know when you're like kids and you play, um, what is it, ring a ring of rosies or something, and you all join hands and like you kind of go around in a circle, that kind of a ring, I thought that would be like a nice little idea. Maybe some girls or whatever out in a ring, you know, all kind of like loose or whatever, you know, joining hands. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I'll figure out the anatomy kind of later on as I go, but. My perspective is totally off, she's way bigger in the back, but it's more just to kind of cement the idea. Almost a bit fairy-like, like I was thinking of literally a fairy ring. Um, I just really like the idea of something kind of a bit more magical and then maybe kind of like really simplified faces as well. Um, very flowy hair is obviously important. illustration that I have any initial idea for because like I say I've been thinking about it all the same for a couple of days they're all gonna look the same um, but that's fine I just kind of want it to be about the the movement and you know just the feel of the image
Do you know, I don't think I'm even going to include the feast. I want to cheese. I want to be like, they're magical people. They don't maybe necessarily have feet. <laughs> maybe their dresses are just too long. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So that's my basic kind of sketch. All I suppose I really need to do now is outline it and detail it more and like it's not the best thing I've ever done. It's definitely not the worst thing I've ever done. And I think kind of like to get me loosened up and kind of ready to tackle other prompts, uh, you know, it's it's good enough, I think. I think I'll outline with the, the Unipin because it is a brush pen. It has a really firm, Nip. I can't, I can't explain things this morning. It's still, it's still too early. Anyway, I'm going to outline this. Um, I'll see how it goes. I'll see how adventurous I get with it. And yeah. I guess it's done. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna put a little bit of, a bit more into it. And in case you didn't know, and you'll probably find out very soon, is I'm actually a very, very messy painter. I accidentally uh, dipped my paper into the ink and now it looks like she's crying blood or something which is fine <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it uh, there's not really very much I can do about it anyway but it's a little unfortunate but if it were to happen to anyone it was the best to happen to her when I'm a quick painter I mean I'm an impatient painter I don't really enjoy waiting for things to dry which I know is silly because then it could end up ruining it, but other times you can get very nice effects. I used to work with ink a lot more when I was younger. I had um, a phase where I was obsessed with um, the artist Yoshitaka Amano, and I was dying to emulate his style. So I ended up using loads of ink. I bought loads of inks. I stole, well, I didn't actually steal, but I borrowed a lot of my mum's inks. I just started kind of pretty much copying what he did and it was really fun and I would recommend any you know anyone to do that if there's an artist that you really really like you know not necessarily to literally copy one of their pieces and then put it online and go oh I drew this you know you practice you practice the techniques that your favorite artists use and it's how you learn Okay, I'm gonna say that that's finished because there's a lot more I could do with it, but I don't want to do any more to it because this is essentially the idea that I had in my head. It's down on paper now, it's done. Um, and I just kind of want to move on. I never really draw more than two people physically interacting with each other. And it's something that I do struggle with. But yeah, okay, so that was the first Inktober prompt ring. I better write that up. Ah, oh, and I've already misspelled Inktober. Welcome to Inktober 2019. I really hope 
that this wasn't too disappointing of a start to it. There's a whole month to go, so I'm, I'm expecting that there will be better. Um, but I really hope you still enjoyed this video and um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!